Inscriptions are very interesting because they were written directly by the ancient peoples themselves. Ithaca actually learns by itself to pay attention to different parts of the inputs that can contribute to making accurate predictions. Meet Ithaca, the first deep neural network AI designed to help historians and archaeologists uncover mysteries about the past. Named after the Greek island in Homer's Odyssey, Ithaca is an uncommon AI that merges technology, supercomputing, and ancient history to reveal unknown secrets hidden in the history of humanity. What if this AI can travel back in time? But wait a minute, will AI tools be advanced enough to crack the past secrets of our universe? So far, this AI, Ithaca, has achieved 62% accuracy in restoring damaged ancient texts from about 2,000 years ago and improved the accuracy of historians from 25% to 72%. And this is just the beginning. What if historians and other experts come up with new theories about the origin and history of man? Ithaca just uncovered some thrilling secrets that might alter everything we've known about history. What are they? Let's find out. Just as microscopes and telescopes have expanded the range of what scientists can see today, Ithaca aims to enhance and expand our understanding of the most significant periods of human history. Humans are curious by nature. We're always trying to push beyond our limits. When it comes to science, space, and artificial intelligence, all the experts in these fields have one thing in common. They are all weird and curious. Look at Ithaca. It's literally helping historians rewrite history. According to a report published in the journal Nature, Ithaca can fill in the missing gaps in ancient Greek inscriptions and indicate where and when they are from. Many of these inscriptions are centuries old and have been damaged to the point of ill eligibility, transported far from one location to another, and no one even knows their origin. But the new AI system trashed it out. It can not only read ancient Greek inscriptions accurately, but also fill in gaps in the text and even chronologically arrange them and indicate their origin. By now, you should know the importance of inscriptions to historians and archaeologists. They are evident of the culture, language, society, and history of ancient civilizations as they were written directly by the people of those times. If all the experts knew so far was only 25% and Ithaca upgraded their knowledge by over 60%, that's a monumental shift in human history. Who knows, the scientists might wake up one day and announce that we all drop from the sky and not from some animal. You know what? You must be ready to believe that we actually fell from the sky because Ithaca is way more intelligent than all those experts out there and Ithaca will figure it out. Welcome once again to the new age of AI revolution that's set to revolutionize our past and our brains. If you're keen on preserving your lineage and house address, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Ithaca has uncovered a number of unexpected findings. One notable discovery from the past was that, as Europe was divided along religious lines following the Protestant Reformation back then, scientific enthusiasts were actually coming together. This was evidenced by the scientific texts that were being published in various locations, including the Protestant city of Wittenberg, which had emerged as a science hub. Historians had never thought of the swift turn of events. With the help of AI, historians are beginning to examine historical documents, including astronomical tables like those conceived in Venice and other early modern cities, smudged by centuries spent in mildewed archives or distorted by the slip of a printer's hand, thus making it possible to draw connections across a wide range of historical activities that would otherwise be impossible. But what if Ithaca brings in its own distortions, given that an AI system can be biased and has the ability to fabricate information? This question poses a significant challenge for historians and others who often rely on examining the past to understand the present and predict the future. With machines projected to play an increasingly prominent role in shaping our future, how much of the past should we expose them to? Because even a slight change made in the past can have significant consequences on the present and future. Instead of blindly feeding them vast amounts of historical data, there is a need to carefully navigate the delicate balance between having a more robust understanding of our past and potentially gulping in false histories. This complex issue highlights the need for historians and researchers to meticulously approach the interplay between AI and history, ensuring that the insights gained from these systems are not distorted or misleading, but rather enlightening and accurate reflections of our collective past. 
Rather than addressing these concerns, historians are gearing up to examine even older history by creating a machine that can travel back in time. How would the world look if this were possible? This was the motivation behind the Venice Time Machine, established to reconstruct history from digitized records. Just think of the butterfly effect. Imagine, you could step back in time and experience the past like never before, exploring ancient civilizations and seeing how they lived, worked, and interacted. Imagine walking through the bustling streets of Rome, witnessing the grandeur of the pyramids, or walking majestically along the Great Wall of China. It's not just about the visuals. With the help of AI, you can also engage in conversations with historical figures. What a mirage. It's high time you got back to the present. Unfortunately, the laws of physics prohibit traveling backward in time for many reasons. If we did travel back in time and change the course of events, we would be altering the course of history. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, we can't use a time machine to travel hundreds of years into the past or future. Such a type of travel only happens in books and movies. Though it's disheartening to learn that it's not possible, I'd love to change my ancestry to be a relative of Warren Buffett or the CEO of Louis Vuitton, but that's okay. Still, a more immediate concern is the possibility of AI generating false records. Meanwhile, AI chatbots like Historical Figures Chat and Character.ai allow users to simulate interactions with historical figures. Don't believe me? Think again, because on YouTube right now, viewers can watch Richard Nixon give a speech that had been written in case the 1969 moon landing ended in disaster, but fortunately never needed to be delivered. Researchers created a deep fake to show how AI could affect our shared sense of history. The men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. In seconds, one can generate false images of major historical events like the D-Day landings and yet be entirely convincing. What would happen if future historians and the upcoming generation attempt to trace their history? Is it possible for AI systems to one day delete all our historical records, including that of this generation from all search engines? You've probably heard by now about Elon Musk's warning to humanity about the risks of artificial intelligence. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Regardless of individual reservations about this tech giant, it is apparent that our conception of reality is now shakier than ever. As technological innovations proceed at such an unpredictable and irreversible rate, one must consider the countless forewarning so as not to be the pioneer of our own destruction. The notion that machines can execute tasks that were previously limited to the domain of the human mind is terrifying. AI is already inventing drugs that no one has ever seen before. Now we've got to see if they'll work. Would you mind being administered some? Or are you scared of being hypnotized by an AI drug? While scientists are thrilled about AI's possibilities, a few experts warn that using it to understand the past should be done with utmost caution. Professor Peter Liddell, an expert in Greek history and epigraphy at the University of Manchester, stated that AI would undoubtedly contribute to historians' toolboxes and aid in understanding mysteries about prehistoric times and understanding lost cultures and civilizations. However, the AI's knowledge, just like everyone else, is limited to the records and information it has access to. Definitely, the results it generates will often be incomplete due to some missing records. But wait, there's one important thing we need from you. Help us fend off the AI invasion and keep the human touch alive. Give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join our community. Together, we'll navigate the thrilling world of AI while preserving the essence of human connection. And remember, stay artificially awesome.